What is up, guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Whatever it is when you're watching this, howdy do. I'm Tyler Nolan. This is my channel. This is Taruk. He's real cute. Come here. Come on. Come here. I know you go fly. Hi. Hi. So, today, today we're going to go do an update on Phoenix. Phoenix is the rescue that I had. I've made a couple uh, videos in the past on the channel about Phoenix. He was a rescue, super scared of me, just wasn't happy in the environment that he was in before or here. Um, didn't like being kept in a cage inside. He was used to being outdoors. He was abused by his other owner. His owner was found dead in his house. Just uh, this whole long spiel with Phoenix happened, okay? A few weeks ago, maybe like a month ago now, I moved Phoenix to Mikey's house in Homestead. So now he's in a huge aviary outside. He's with another Catalina McCaw. They're super happy. They get along together. My buddy Mikey. Oh, snap, look at this. I am up, I'm looking here, but oh, what is that? He's able to go in and out of the cage, find the cage is huge. The cage is like the size of my house, okay? So we're gonna go do an update on Phoenix today, see how that's going. Just check up on Mikey, see how his place is doing. I'm trying to upload more videos for you guys. It's just, I do a lot of things throughout the day. And it's hard for me to find time. I don't know how these, these young kids on YouTube find time to do all this editing and stuff. Dude, editing is what takes forever. Make Actually making the videos and doing all this stuff isn't that bad because all I'm doing is just doing what I do on a normal basis and videotaping it. The hard part is editing it. it takes forever, especially when I'm trying to do it on iMovie and stuff on my computer. Freezes, whatever. All sorts of little technology things. I'm not good with technology. It does all these stupid things that, it, I don't know, it's, it's super frustrating. Whatever, I'm over it. Don't care. I'm going to try to find an editor, local, to help me out, make some more videos for you guys, or just make it more of like a blog, like uh, Snake Bites TV. I watch his blogs all the time. He does his stuff himself, probably, Brian. It's pretty simple. His edits are super simple. They're just like cutting in and out. There's nothing special. Chandler. Takes way more time. Paul Cuffrow, another kid I'm sure you guys follow. Paul Cuffrow kills it, but he's also 18 years old. He's got all the time in the world. I don't. The page is going super fast. Appreciate all the new subscribers, all my old subscribers. Thanks for st <laughs> thanks for sticking around. Appreciate all of you. YouTube is a crazy place, though. I've definitely noticed that there's way more keyboard warriors on YouTube than there is on Instagram. People on Instagram. Or a lot nicer. I, I feel like people on Instagram just... I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, YouTube is pretty gnarly. Like, I read my comments. I am trying to talk. Thank you very much. I read my comments, too. So, don't think I don't read my stuff. 99% of you guys are awesome. Really appreciate you guys. Pretty relentless. And dude, I read these things. And it's not very... It's not very nice. Yeah, I get it. I'm super tattooed. I got tattoos on my face. I got big ass earlobes and holes in my ears and all this, that, and the other thing. But you know what? It doesn't make me any different of a person than you. If anything, the people that are saying negative things on my page and commenting, oh, look at your ears and oh, I bet your parents are sick of you and like, you're, you look like a criminal and this, that, and the other thing. And dude, mind your own business. This is what I look like. I love it, okay? Everybody else seems to like it. Go back to being miserable on your couch, okay? Because I'm doing fine, trust me. Like, clearly, I'm doing just fine. Didn't your parents ever tell you if you have nothing nice to say, just don't say it at all? What's the point of you telling me I'm a bad person because I'm tattooed or my ears are crazy or what am I going to look like when I'm old? You know what I'm going to look like when I'm old? I'm going to look awesome, okay? That's what I'm gonna look like when I'm old. Okay, yeah, my ears might be sagging. I might be able to put my arms through my ears, but you know what? I'm gonna be a cool ass old guy. And I lived my life and I did what I want. And I'm fine, dude, I own a tattoo shop. I'm allowed to look like this. Look at this person, says, what a 
effing weirdo. You really go out in the public looking like that, you've turned yourself into a public outcast. Try a bone in your nose, make you look a little bit more repulsive. There's something about your ears. You're disgusting. Good. I hope your neighbors win. You're the biggest tosser on YouTube. You're not cool. You're a dick. A dick with birds. Whatever. It's not even worth my time, honestly, to complain about it. I just want it to be known. Like, people that are watching my channel, dude, if you don't like the way I look or anything like that, dude, go watch another channel. I'm sure there's some regular vanilla ass dude online. I, I know there is. Doing snake stuff and doing bird stuff. Go watch them if you don't want to watch me do it, okay? I don't care. I don't care. It doesn't bother me at all. This is fun. I'm like, my YouTube channel is fun, okay? I have other businesses just filming the f that I do for you guys. And maybe some people like to watch it. If you like watching it, awesome. Stay tuned, subscribe. I'm just rambling on now. If you got nothing nice to say, keep it to yourself. I gotta go get dressed. Head down to Homestead. Say what's up to Phoenix. Say what's up to Mikey. Make a cool little video. Today's gonna be fun. I'm super excited about it. So. Hey, Dolly. What's up, bud? What's up, Phoenix? So check this out. What's up, Tyler? What's up, Mikey? Over on, at my buddy's on. house. So I wanted to come do an update on Phoenix for you guys. He's doing awesome. See this cage that he's in? Look at this thing. How massive that cage is. Look at Mikey in here. This thing is huge. Check it out. We got Phoenix right here. We got, there's Mikey's Catalina right here, and he's got a cockatoo. It's an umbrella? Yeah. Super cool. Let's go get in the cage and check him out. Yeah, you can come down if you want. You guys gonna come down and hang out? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I like it high up here, Dad. I don't want going down there with those crazy people. You guys know Landon. Phoenix, you know your daddy over here. Come here. Update on Phoenix. Phoenix came over in a dog crate, right? I left Phoenix inside of my house, in my room. Maybe for 30 minutes, I left to the store to go get paper towels, some almond milk, and some cookies. I was having a late night craving. And I came back 30 minutes later. Phoenix chewed out of the entire thing and was sitting on top of my dresser when I came in the house. And I was like, I opened the door and I saw the bird sitting there and I'm like, what's up Phoenix? Walk over to him and start petting him put him on my shoulder. And that's when we took that funny little photo. But he's just like the coolest little bird, bro. And like, it's so cool that he was sitting in that box, like, I don't know, for what? Uh, how long did it take you over here? An hour, hour and a half? He stayed in the box for like, what, two and a half hours? And bro, he chewed out. <laughs> Literally chewed out. Well, I guess I'm not getting my transport box back. Yeah, you're not getting that box back, kind of threw it away. Sorry. Sick. Check this better. setup out. He's got these big yacht ropes in here. Toys. I'm gonna get, I'll He's got get a couple jelly. other friends. Pretty sick. This is a way better, right? Dude, it's only gonna get better. Yeah. You know, hopefully we can get, you know, double, triple these aviaries, you know. The big. goal is and to make big. these cages big as possible so they can fly around as much as they want. The ideal goal for this area is to put huge giant nets up all along where it's fully enclosed, like 60 to 80 feet high. They can just fly around all they want. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That's the, that's the goal of it. It takes time though. So this is not bad for a second upgrade. And Said, I mentioned might be a daddy. Yeah, this other Catalina right here. Not too sure what's going on with her, but she's got a lump in her belly. So she might have an egg in her. What are you saying, Dolly? Phoenix was super scared at my house. Didn't like being inside. Obviously, I couldn't keep him outside anymore because he kept screaming, and my neighbors didn't like it. So now he's super happy. Like he can't, he can't be in a better place. Like look, he's up there hanging out with the other one. He's got friends. He's got plenty of food. He's outside. Gets natural sunlight. <laughs> Living his best life for sure. I'm gonna do it. You guys want we can like dedicate a day or two just to yeah, do that, and then the rest. You know, like, Every single day they get a giant bowl of nuts and a giant bowl of food and dried fruit. Every single day, the clockwork. 2.30, they're getting their freaking food, they're getting fresh water every single day. For you guys on there, I'm gonna show you guys one of my alarms. Clock, 2.30 p.m. You click it, it says, hold on. Feed and water birds on left side. Spend time with the kids and has a heart on it. It's my kids, man. Every day, I take my, take 30 minutes. Come over here, just feed, talk, water, pet, kiss. 
have conversations, and then I leave and before I go to bed, it happens again. And they wake them up in the morning because they're so loud. So it's awesome. We have that bond. Enrichment, obviously. Key with birds. Birds do it differently though. They do it. Their off twins, the their toys right here, are like constantly off, changed. Like, off their own um, they get new the ones. Line, like they get to the break them up, say, like, oh, beat them down. Do they unthread the rope. I thread like, it back up. It tie it different ways where it's hard for them to untie it. Hide their food stuff, their nuts in places. They got a lot of rope. Here. You know, they got different types of rope to climb on. They got little scarves to hang out and dangle with. Dolly. I found a new place for that black cage. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> you want a peanut? Okay. Here. Okay. So there you go, guys. As you can see, Phoenix is super happy. Got a sick ass new family. Like he's taking care of them. He's got Landon. Yup. Everybody's happy. Come on. <laughs> hey. Say what's up. Say hey, Dolly. What's going on? It's a Malukan cockatoo right here. Dolly. Also a rescue. Mikey got these guys a few months ago um, together. Actually, this Catalina up here and this cockatoo came as like a little a little pal pair. Their homies, they stay, stay together. Look how cute that little guy is. Cockatoos are awesome. They're one of my favorite birds. You're awesome. All right, well, that's that. Go back in your little house. We got to go finish it up. I'm over here tattooing Mikey's brother right now. Yeah, so I'm next. yeah, he's next. Gotta get back to work. But, oh, what is that? Why are you looking at me like that? You want a fight? Front. You want a piece of me, bro? I don't want no smoke. See, that's like happy. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to get used to this camera. That's like happy me right there. That would be like a sad me. That'd be like a super angry me. And that's like butterfly me. That's like mummy me. And um, I'm like me me. Hey guys, it's me me. Nice to meet you. Huh. I got. Uh, I'm so weird, huh? And then look, it's tiger me. Oh man. And then it's like jungle me. And then. If I was a white person that liked cobras, that'd be like Tyler me. But that's not Tyler me, that's Tyler no <laughs> plan. It's my brother over Oh, and that'd be like triple headed Jaguar me. But there goes Joseph. Dude, what are you getting on your leg? No, I'm saying. No, I'm saying. Are you writing no, I'm saying all the way down his shin? Like N A A S A. Saying? All the way down to the toe? Big black bold letters. No, I'm saying. Bold with hold. Boss will hold. What are you doing over there, Princess? You eating cinnamon rolls? You eating pizza and watching Disney Channel? Pretty good life. Pretty good life right there. It's my niece. So, uh, look at this. My boy is over here getting a African bull male elephant on his shin. Now, Joseph, give us some African bull male elephant facts. Don't worry, I got you, bro. The African bull male elephant can weigh anywhere up to 20,000 pounds, eating any vegetation in sight, okay? Because who's going to stop it? What's going to stop it? Absolutely nothing, because it's the largest mammal on Earth besides a whale, you know? And when you keep thinking about elephants, your tusks keep growing and growing and growing. Permanent ivory. Ivory is one of the most poached things in the world. Um, on animals, along with, like, rhino horn and, like, tiger bones and shark fin soup, you know, and like some pangolin skin. I mean, dude, it's insane. But anyways, um, yeah, the African uh, bull male elephant females can range anywhere from 9,000 to like 14,000 pounds, and males are anywhere from 14,000 pounds and up. Um, they do mount the females, which means they have these giant, huge elephants that get on their back, and that's how baby elephants are born, uh, if you guys didn't know that. <laughs> uh, Tyler, tell us about tattooing this elephant. How long is it gonna take? It's probably gonna take like maybe four hours, I'm gonna say. Something four like hours. Yeah. Is that like a average tattoo time? What's your longest I mean, time you can go? Big tattoo. Elephants it's sick. Elephants got a lot of wrinkles. A lot of wrinkles. A whole lot of wrinkles. A whole lot of wrinkles. So hey, does that hurt? No. Oh. Oh, that. Yeah. Oh. That's no. He's been in the army for like 
like three years now, so I feel like it's like indestructible. So I'm just gonna like see what hurts and what doesn't. Not a gun. I know yeah. some things tattoo gun. But a lot of people I've always heard gun. of it as that. Machine. Yeah. It's a tattoo machine. Rotary, even though it's loud like a conventional machine, like a oh. coil machine. Oh. Normally what makes a tattoo machine louder is coils. Yeah. This has a rotary motor on the side of it. Uses uh, an offset right here with springs. It makes the armature bar go up and down. That's why it makes it louder. So. I mean, there's, ro there's rotaries that aren't loud, but I like the sound, man. Yeah, no, but I think that's what a lot of people do. The sound. Yeah, like yeah, exactly. If it's too quiet, it's weird too, you know, because you're in that state, like, especially like somebody you don't know or whatever, you're, and you're just doing it. It's kind of nice to have that, that sound there that kind of gets you in your zone. Hope you like this little update. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn that notification on. Stay tuned. We got more gang stuff coming for you guys. More I love stuff. you all. Peace. This way. Yeah, this way. Yeah, keep walking down the alley. I'm in the big yard. Not the small one, the big one. Yeah. Come on. All right, I'm going to bring it. Okay. Okay. Come on. It's all right. Dad's over here. I know my communication sucks. I'm trying to speak goat. It takes a while, though. Yeah. yeah. That's daddy's boy. Daddy's favorite kid. Come on. Yeah, my little stinky man. What's up? What are you doing over here? I told you. I got your milk for you. That's what you call a goat from seven acres the other way. Over here, it's called uh, telecommunication and anamorphous mixed with humanology. <laughs> 101 at Tarzana University, boy. Yeah.